Hi everyone! So today we'll be taking a look at Hooker Screen. We have Daniel Smith, Sennelier, and Rembrandt. And Rembrandt has a Hooker Screen Light and Deep. This one is the Deep variant. Because Hooker Screen is a convenience screen, that means it's there's more than one pigment and then you mix multiple colors together to make Hooker Screen. I don't tend to use it because I like mixing my own greens from phthalo green or other colors, other single pigment greens first, like PG8 sometimes. But yeah, we'll take a look at these three today. And I'm very fascinated that Daniel Smith has four pigments in there. Is that really necessary? But we'll see if it's beautiful, if it's intriguing. I have a dot cut here. Again, none of these have been pre-wetted. Wet brush. Nice and pigmented. It feels like just a yellow green, nothing much. I am using my Tintoretto uh, Synthetic Squirrel Brush 3.0. I'm really liking it so far. And then next we have Sennelier. Sennelier's Hooker's Green was actually my first ever Hooker's Green. Um, if you go back to see my older videos, I used this palette here. It's a makeup palette that I repurposed and I used a lot of it until like these were almost gone. So then I dug some of these out and then put them in half pants later on. Just as easy to re-wet. A bit duller, I'd say. Duller than the Daniel Smith version. There's not a big difference between the two, but Daniel Smith's seems more vibrant than Sennelier's. Before I move on, I'd just like to quickly point out that if you guys have these like makeup palettes at home, try it out because the mirror part for mixing feels a lot like ceramic and it pools, it doesn't beat up. So I urge you guys to try that out. Alright, Rembrandt next. Ooh, that's deep indeed. Almost feels like phthalo green, but less quinacridone. -y. The Sennelier's version next to the Rembrandt Hooker's Green Deep makes this almost feel like it's a sap green. <laughs> okay, if I didn't know any better, this Rembrandt Hooker's Green Deep almost looks like a phthalo green yellow shade. That's very interesting how the colors are so different. Okay, I'll wait for these to dry and then we'll see if there is a big drying shift because I feel like there has to be, as it's drying right now, it looks like there's going to be quite the drying shift, so we'll be right back. And we're back. The colors have all completely dried. 
I'm not sure I have much to say about these colors since I don't use these types of greens very often, but these two definitely look very similar in mass tone. Um, they're quite a yellow green, looks to be like a permanent yellow green, a little bit darker, whereas Rembrandt's Hooker's Green Deep here looks a lot like a less vibrant matte phthalo green yellow shade maybe. Um, whereas these two are much more yellow leaning. I wonder if Rembrandt's Hooker's Green Light would be the same hue as these two. Personally, I much prefer sap greens as a convenience green in my palette. But what about you guys? Do you use any Hooker's Green? Or do you use something like a permanent yellow green? Or maybe something totally different like a chromium oxide? made with PG-17. That would be interesting. I'd love to know your opinions down below. If you'd like to see the scans of these swatches, just continue watching and I'll put them right after this. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.